Hello everyone! I've been looking back at my videos that I made during my chemo process and I really wanted to get out this one video. I have quite a few that I have put on my computer that I put in this folder called needs to be edited and let me tell you there's a lot of videos in them. When my hair was pretty much completely gone, I'm pretty sure I promised you guys a makeup tutorial video um, about how to draw on your eyebrows and accentuate your lashes that you may no longer have um, to make it kind of look like, you know, you got some lashes or just to cover up the fact that you don't. So this video isn't really doing that because I had my eyebrows already coming in, so um, I kind of cheated and didn't really show you what I promised you, but um, so I could just kind of follow my eyebrow line as I'm telling you what to do. But anyways, um, you, you'll get the gist of it. And my eyelashes were already coming back, so I could put mascara on. Um, yeah, but I hope you find it interesting anyways, because I am pretty much bald in this video. I have like baby hairs on my head and like not that many lashes you can't I don't know eh, I'm sorry guys but anyway this is all I have from when I was bald so you're gonna have to bear with me it was last year sometime 2011 guys because I can't really say last year anymore cuz last year is almost 2012 now because we're getting down to it PS the world is not ending tomorrow so get over it I'm gonna make more videos Whoa, I'm scared. Some like Jenna Marbles. Mm, love her. I've been commenting on all my comments on YouTube because I'm trying to catch up on all the comments that I've missed. But I have like 197 comments on my One Symptoms video, so I'm trying, I'm trying to catch up. Um, I say that it is much easier if you contact me through my YouTube inbox or through Facebook because I'll probably respond quicker than going through all my comments which I do probably once every two months so if I don't respond to you right away in the comments I'm really sorry um, but I try to get to all the questions first so if you have if I see question marks then I'll answer it first also big news I can do a ponytail in my hair now whatever that's not a good example because I only have one hand I'm holding my laptop with the camera on the other hand so snoozy loose but next video I'm going to put my hair up for it because I can't and also look at this chain look at this that my brother and his girlfriend got me isn't it sweet it's a heart like sideways with the ribbon can you see it eh that's really bad I'm bad at this eh that probably doesn't help because I'm still white as a ghost but yeah you you can see it I think yeah, isn't that sweet? Uh, I love you guys. Um, enjoy the video. And enjoy me being bald. Good times. Bye. This is my lovely makeup tutorial. And this is what I do pretty much every day. My shadows might switch it up a bit, but this is basically what I do. Um, then we take this uh, concealer stick thingy. And it's the only concealer that I use because I don't like foundation, I don't like concealer, I don't like feeling fake, but I have like red streaks on my face and I really don't like them, so I just go like this, like a cat, to my whiskers, meow, whiskers, three, and this is just a light shade, I think it's called light, but it's cover girl, cover girl, and then you just smudge it with your finger because get all like that. You smudge with my finger, get rid of all my red trees. And you have to sing while you put this on, or it won't cover completely what you want it to cover. Get all in the crease of your nose. In the crease, in the crease. So I have this new brow to go, brow tech to go by Smashbox, and its color is brunette. And it's amazing, and I love it. So what the people tell you to do is like start from your nose, like put your pen up to your nose and your eye kind of thing like that, and then that's where you're going to start your brow. Like, I don't really do that because I just kind of wing it, but that's what you do. You do that, and then you take from your nose to the outer corner of your eye, and that's where you end it. So that's basically where I end it anyways. I don't really need the guide, but I 
I'll just kind of wing it, wing it, wing it, wang it. I wing it because I have um, eyebrows coming in now, so I just kind of follow them. I'm just gonna start. So yucky yucky yucky. And I like to do both at the same time because I get bored of one and then I go on to the next. This is hard in this way. And then when it starts to go down, bring it down. And that's it, your eyebrows are done. Just kidding. No, this is the process, people. Don't make it too thick at the, look, this part is a bit thinner, so it goes from thick and then you make it thin as you go down. And my eyebrows are really thick, so I'm used to this dark, thick looking eyebrow. And I just find that this, um, this eyebrow pencil is like, way more natural looking than the other one that I had. Sorry if I'm talking really quietly. The camera's really far away. And you just want to kind of round it, not round it, but make sure it doesn't look like loose ends. And they don't have to be the same. Let them have their own little attitude. That's all I really wanted to show you, but I mean, I guess I'll keep going. So I, now I take my bronzer just put it all over my face, over the eyebrows too, because when you don't have any makeup other than the eyebrows, it looks really funny. But once you like blend it all together, it's not as bad. And I go crazy with this because I like to look tan, because I especially now, because I can't go out in the sun. Yeah, fix up my eyebrow there. So you, you'll find that after you put the bronzer on, you'll need to fix up your eyebrows, but um, that's okay. Now I like to put on my mascara first because when I put on liquid liner, when you put it on top, it doesn't, I don't know, you can't pull your eyelashes down. So I like, because they're wet. On a normal day, I'll do this forever. I'll just like go over my mascara until you can really see my eyelashes because that's like my favorite thing. My eyelashes. I have to do the bottom too. A lot of people don't, but I do. I just find it makes your eyes look bigger. So I just put on a little bit, and then later, I keep looking over there, and then later I will go over it again once I have my eyeliner and eyeshadow on. So then I take my stick eyeliner, my pencil, I don't know, not the liquid liner. Um, this is L'Oreal Paris Infallible. And it has a little smudge brush at the end, which I like, which I don't use too much, but it's nice to smudge under, underneath your eye. So I just kind of, I only do the corners of my eyes because when I do, when I do the full eye underneath, it just makes your eyes look smaller. So I only do the corners and then maybe a bit, a bit more and I smudge that part. The corners, the corners I put like a thicker line and then it kind of goes thinner and then it stops. That's how I do. And I do the top, I do underneath my eyelashes, so like my waterline or whatever the phrase you call it. Just so you like that when you put your liquid liner on, there's not like a strange line where it looks like, then it makes your eyelashes look fake because it looks like you put on the eyelashes and then there's like a space. I don't know. I like to do this so that there's no space in between. And sometimes I mess this up because my eyes get all fussy and blink. I'm going right near my eye, so like I'll stab myself in the eye and then I'll like freak out. Oh, my eyes are really mean right now. Just open. Cooperate. So yeah, this is my favorite one, okay? This is the one that takes the longest because it's like not regular eyeshadow. It's pink. It's gosh. It's waterproof eyeshadow. It's like a, it's like a gel-ish thing. I never usually like these, but I really like this color. So then I go over my eyelid, just everywhere. And if I was using normal eyeshadow, I would just use my finger. I don't use the brushes because I'm super ghetto. And first of all, I can't afford the brushes. Second of all, when my mommy bought me the brushes, I still don't like them because, I don't know, they're just not accurate and they don't put as much on as I would like. So my finger just really does it for me. It's Quo, Kiwo, I don't know how you say it, but it's Electric Eye 
nice pencil. So I like to use this as kind of a highlighter. Goes on the corner of your eye, and at the bottom, I like to kind of connect it to my eyeliner. Then we will move on to the liquid eyeliner, which I just discovered, and it's Revlon Color Stay Liquid Pen. It looks like a pen. See? It's, it has a nice tip on it, and it's really easy to use, it doesn't mess up your face. So, then I just sweep, sweep, I don't know, everyone does it like that, but I like to go inwards. Just so I can be accurate. And then press your eye lashes down and just do your lash line. You can make it as thick as you want. That looks really creepy. But yeah, you can write, oh, you can see that line in between your lashes. So sometimes I just go poke in between my lashes, if you can see it. But you have to finish this, and I'm getting ahead of myself. It's, this is Smashbox, and I like this one color here. It's like, it's like a non-color. But I like to put it under my eyebrows so that there's like a matte color under my eyebrows. And kind of mix it together with the pink so it doesn't look so unnatural. Not that pink looks natural, but... I just wanted to show you that the sun is really bright. I haven't been outside all day, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like in the sun. See? But yeah, that's been my makeup tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. If not, comment, leave me hate mail. Don't do that, that's mean. Um, yeah. If you have any other suggestions for videos, let me know and I'll do it. Do it to it. Goodbye. Rixie says bye to. Say bye, Rixie. <laughs> That's bye in German Shepherd. Uh, bye bye.